Good morning, welcome back to Spare Time Books and the Bookshop Besties YouTube channel. It's gonna be a really fun day today. Um, some festivities going on after we close. There's going to be the downtown Paso Robles Christmas Parade. Hi, okay, some time has passed since that last clip that you just saw. A customer came in and then a whole bunch of customers came in, which is great, but I don't like talking to the camera while customers are here. So the shop is once again empty. What I'm focusing on right now is getting these books priced and put out and then <laughs> this pile here as well. This is an order that I'm working on too, so I'll pack an order with you in a little bit to show you our cool packing supplies that Carla designed. Okay, I have a lot left to do, but I need some lunch. chairs all cleared off. These are priced, I just need to put them out. Alright, while we wait for the excitement of the night to happen, I'm going to pack up an order with you. So these are the boxes that we use now to ship out medium and large book boxes. Carla designed them, they're so beautiful. Okay, this person specifically wanted general and historical fiction with beautiful covers. So let me show you what I picked out for them. We've got The Glittering Hour by Iona Gray, A.S. By It's Still Life, The Overstory by Richard Powers. It's also a 
Pulitzer Prize winner, and ugh, I think it looks so stunning. I want to read this so badly. The Italian Lover, which I think it looks nice because it's like, like a Renaissance painting, like close up. But I don't know if it's kind of a funny choice, but I think it's lovely. A Crimson Warning by Tasha Alexander. It's a mystery, a historical mystery, so that seems pretty cool. And The Address by Fiona Davis. She's very popular. I just, I really love the spine. Good morning, everybody. We're here at the bookshop. It's Carla here. Um, we're going to be opening it together and just going to go through the process with you. Um, Cleo is not here. She has been so kind as to be my step in while I had my face redone, so I'm looking a little bit pink today, but I figured we could do like a little opening together since I know I don't think we've actually done that. It's always been Cleo. So, let's get to it. Okay, and now we are going to fix this.
turn on the light so you have a better view. <laughs>
So I want to move those and make a new hold shelf, which I'm thinking is going to be over here. Oh, the glare inside the shop right now is intense. Um, so I'm going to clear off one of these shelves, maybe this bottom one, so that can be the hold shelf. And then we can clear off the fridge. Traveling Route 66. Adorable. Alright, now that we have some space here, I'm going to go ahead and move over these books. Much better. So now, this is mostly clear. I think it looks really nice. I'm also going to hang up my scarf so that way everything stays in one place. There. Ta da. So I wanted to show off my outfit. Let me do an outfit check. Oh, I should not be in the light. Okay. Here's the fit. It's getting full bookshop, I think. Um, this sweater is from Hot Topic. The cute little pockets. Uh, and the sleeves, necklace is from Little Rooms, my fave, the hat found on the side of the road, um, the skirt is from TJ Maxx, and this top is from, it's thrifted, but I got it, I think the brand, I think it's Free People, so, yeah scanned by West Dermatology. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of the light now. But yeah, that's... Oh, and then my shoes, my tree torns. Oh, I don't know if you saw those. Um, they are from Costco. Got them for $5, which is crazy because they're originally like 80 so we love a good deal. So this space is looking a little sparse. So until we paint the wall, I wanted to give it a little bit of zhuzhuzh, and we've got all of these. So, I'm gonna hang some of these up today, just as a temporary placeholder. So, yeah. Okay, 
Okay, so here we have the wall. And so I want to go through a few options with you guys. Hold on. One sec, let me grab. <laughs> this is so creepy. <laughs> let me grab these. Okay. So let's see what looks good. You guys think. I'm oh, sorry. Let me go over here. So kind of like boom, boom, boom. Hide some of the the ugly things in the wall, and then um, or we could just make it like a full full thing. It's kind of nice to have it a little bit jagged, ragged. Um, and then we look at it from here. Let's take a good look without me in the way. There it is kind of cool but then I remember thinking if we had this here too let me think make like a full wall or is it too busy I'm not sure ma huh. you have to click it you know, it's not good. 